Valentine's Day is almost here, which means your kiddos are probably getting excited to pass out fun gifts to their classmates. One way you can help make your child's Valentine's gifts stand out this year is by helping them create their own. Ashley Rader is a first grade teacher and the owner of Ruby Ranch Barn. She's here to show us a couple of kid-friendly DIY Valentine's cards that are sure to impress your child's classmates. Welcome, Ashley. Nice to meet you. So Thank this you. is unique because, you know, back when I remember being in elementary school, we went to the store and we just picked out something that they were already yep. pre-made. But what is the beauty of creating your own DIY Valentine's Day cards to pass out? Well, I think it's for myself, I think it's a really fun tradition. And lots of kids still do the store-bought cards, and those are super fun, and they have the fun sayings on them and puns. Uh, but the fun part about making it yourself is the kids really have that memory of making it, and they enjoy the process of it, and then they really, like, cherish it when they pass it out to their friends to say, like, that ownership that they made it. It's super yeah. fun for them. I feel like handwritten letters and cards, too, are not as popular as they used to be, They're so not, this kind yeah. of instills that in yeah. them while they're young to show that this is something that you should continue doing. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about how we're gonna get unique and create these DIY Valentine's yeah. Day cards. What do we have right here? This is a salad spinner. So not your typical and Valentine making yeah. um, utensil, but it is a salad <laughs> spinner. So you might have one of these in your house and I don't use it for salad nearly as much as I should. <laughs> um, so I wanted to put some good use to it. And so these, I just got it like Hobby Lobby, but honestly, if you have like cardstock or anything at home, um, these are already pre-cut, which is kind of one less step for you to do. Right. Um, and it's fun because you can honestly do this ages two all the way to like myself. I enjoy making them, they're really fun. Yeah. So um, we'll kind of show you the process and I'll put you to work okay. and, and make you show us how to do them. So if you want to go ahead and open this up, okay. and there's many oh. different variations of salad spinners, but you just kind of have to pull that off. Oh, okay. Uh, there's many different versions and we actually have different ones where you like pull it. They all work the same. And so um, you can take it and ours are already like right on one side. So you'll just put the blank side up. Okay. So go ahead and set that in there. So I just put it in there. Yep. And I kind of chose a bunch of fun, bright colors that I like for Valentine's Day. These are actually going to be like tempera paints and they're washable. You could use acrylic paints, but higher chances of staining, which you, which you don't want with little kids. Yeah. Uh, these are really inexpensive. They're like a dollar a piece and they last for, for years. And so, um, and they wash out really easily out of this thing. Where acrylic, it's going to be a little bit harder to wash out. I like the neon too, because that's really popular. So Super tempera, fun. so this is um, washable. Yep. Is there anything that's different about tempera? Um, I think it's just the washable fact, and then it's quite a bit more watery than an acrylic paint, okay. and so it's going to spread a lot easier for this process as well. Okay. Um, and so, so yeah. It's easier, All right. How many colors? I have three picked out so far. You can use one. You can do two, three. It's more fun, more colors. Okay. So and then what do I do with it? So you're just going to, once again, little kids can do it. Let them get messy with it. So just kind of squirt it on there, and I kind of like shake it up a little bit. Okay. On the sides even? Yep. There you go. That's good. Grab a different color. Let's do blue next. And it's always fun. Every single one of them turns out different. It's really fun to see the process of how they all turn out different. I can't believe we're using a salad maker. I know. Okay, and purple. Yep. So the more colors you use, the more it's going to cover it. Yeah, or if you just want to use two colors and just use more paint with it, you can totally do that. Okay. All right, so she used her three colors. We're going to put that on. And then for this one, you're just going to press it up and down. So go for it. How many times? However many you want, just so it gets going fast. There you go. That should, should be good. Really good. <laughs> that should be good. And then there's actually a stop button right there. You can stop it. Right. And then you shake it off. Oh my god. Isn't it fun? <laughs> Look at it. It's so fun. Wait, I love this. Isn't it? Yeah. So the fun fact about uh, tempera paints as well, when it dries, it's going to crackle a little bit. Okay. But if your uh, child or student, if you're doing this in a classroom, has to make a whole class set, it can be a lot to do 24. So if a little parent hack to save you some time is you can take this and then put it up against like a blank one as well. And then if you smash it together. Oh, so it looks like you put the one. time in for all of them. And look how cool that looks. Oh, I like that better. It's like a webbed look versus, and if you don't do that, it's going to be a more like a crackle look. Wait, so, I like this look better awesome? actually. It's like veiny, a, yeah. heart, a heart vein. You know? Oh my gosh, how yeah. fun. Okay, so, so let's, that's one. This is with using the tempera, tempera, tempera? Tempera. Tempera, tempera paints paint. and yep. the salad bowl. But yep. we also have watercolor. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you these. So I got this set at, at Michael's. It's a set just over there. It actually has 80 cards in it, and they're always on sale. Um, but they're just blank cards, so if you want to give these to grandparents, cousins, aunts, friends, you can do that. And then I just cut up a bunch of watercolor paper, um, and so I'm going to put you to work with that. Okay. And so what you can do with these is these are just super fun and sweet. And once again, kids' ages 
two and up, as long as they can hold a paintbrush for that fine motor, and they can definitely do it. Uh, but you can do like little, like this one we did circles, you can do stripes, you can do kind of whatever you want. And the more water you let your kid use, the more it's going to spread a little bit, which is really nice and sweet. So and so once again, heart. the kids can really take that ownership over it and say that they made it and they love to send these out in the mail. My daughter loves making these and sending these to people. And, and you can them customize as thank yous. Oh, you can definitely customize it. So she's just making little hearts. We did this one. My daughter finger painted this one just with her, her fingers. And so you can do like a finger paint with it too. So it can be really versatile as well. Yeah. Super now, sweet. I know the main point of this is to teach us how we can create our cards um, to give out and make them handmade. But yep. a big part of Valentine's Day is also having, you know, usually candy or something that you give with yes. it. But you also had some other ideas to go along with it too. Yeah. So in the classroom, um, often you'll have students or classmates that have allergies. And so um, if you go to really any store now, they have really great options. You can give tattoos or stickers. You can give pencils. Um, and so there's really great options out there for kids to use. That doesn't always have to be that piece of candy. Candy. Um, and parents like that better too. So they're not all sugared up when they come home after Valentine's Day. So yeah, that's, that so is, that's very true. Uh, and you can customize the message. That was one of my favorite things. And on Pinterest, they do have a bunch of puns you oh, could do. Pinterest, yeah, we saw ones that say like if you, you know, adhere a pencil to this or say like you're the right one. Yeah. Um, or you know, there's you're looking sharp yeah. today. There's I always gave my options. crush in the class the best one. But <laughs> me too. I always pick it out like on purpose. Right. Like oh yeah, this one is for that person. Right. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Ashley, for coming in, teaching us how to do this. This salad bowl trick is amazing, yeah. so thank you very much. Use it at home. Get more use out of it. I'm going to. <laughs>